children of God all around the world. Brother Anil here from Goa, India, Salvation Ministry. I have a message for you which God has put in my heart. This morning, God woke me up five o'clock and began to speak to me. Two years back, God has spoken to me and given a message for the new year. And God said, this is what will happen two years back. God said, more sorrow will enter. More sorrow is about to enter the world. And people will die with the hunger, starvation. God said, India will hear shocking news. And we will hear it. India will hear shocking news. And soon after that, demonetization happened. And people was in trouble. Maybe so many people died, committed suicide. We have no idea. But people were in great trouble. People lost the money. People, the money in the old notes was useless. And this morning, God began to put things in my heart. And I was writing. And my work was incomplete. And I lie down to sleep again. When I lie down, I heard loud voice in my ears. God talking to me said, and God said, I will take your anointing. In other words, God was telling me, finish my work. And then you go to sleep. Then I knelt down on my bed only and begin to write things. This is what God said to me in the morning. And God said, coronavirus is not for my children. Be cheerful, be strengthened, people of God. God says, good news, coronavirus is not for my children, says the Lord. This virus will not touch my children. I have not sent this virus for my children, but for the unbelieving world to repent, says the Lord. Fear not, say the Spirit of God, for in for I am with you all. I am your victory. As it says in Isaiah 41 verse 10, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my right ears or right hand. God says, Fear not. Fear not, say the Spirit of God, for I am with you all. I am your victory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Then God began to speak more. God says, soon this virus will pass away, will die. I will withdraw it from, my, from this world, from my people. And that is my promise, says the Lord, my God. I will make my word come pass, says the Lord. I will make my word come through. I will keep my promise. I will keep my word, says the Lord. I will make my word happen, says the Lord, our God. If my people pray and seek my presence and repent and turn from their wicked ways. As it said in 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, and then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. God is a merciful, God is a forgiving God, God is a prayer answering God. The Bible says, uh, Psalms 30 verse 5, For his anger is uh, but for a moment, but his favor is for life. Weeping may endure in the night, but a joy comes in the morning. His anger or God's anger is only for a short time. His mercy is eternal, everlasting. It's forever. His anger is only for moment, but his favor is for life. We may cry tonight, but in the morning we will laugh, we will become joyful. Hallelujah. God said, but before this virus ends and die, and I take away from my people. But before that, I will shake heaven and earth once again. Say the Spirit of God, prepare, 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 says the Lord our God, for time is fulfilled and short, and I am coming soon, says the Lord my God. As it says in Haggai chapter 2 and verse 6, I will shake the heaven and earth, and
and this is what is happening now God is shaking the earth by coronavirus prepare let us prepare Jesus is coming back Jesus is coming soon the king of kings is coming again he said this message should reach to everyone poor and rich big and sick young and old but time is short get ready says the Lord I bless you people of God in the name of Jesus and I release healing upon the world. Father, I pray release healing upon your people and take away this virus. Let the people repent. Help us to repent, O oh God. And be merciful toward us, O oh God. Mighty Father, stretch out your hand and heal the land, my God. In the name of Jesus, I make this prayer. Bless the world, my God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you.